Okay, talk about a couple questions. Show you how to put pressure on a horse. Somebody uh, got a couple of uh, um, got another question from a guy in Australia. I don't get a lot of questions from a guy. <laughs> this is gonna give me some hate mail. Okay, this is a question from what's his name? <laughs> Dude, you're in trouble, Richard. Out of Australia. <laughs> this is to you, bud. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> they won't have your email to see the hate mail. Please do a video on big butts. <laughs> now I got a, I got a Halloween costume where I went as a, I had a butt. I meant to bring it so I could strap it on when I covered this email. But he in his in his email, he wants to know why people, mainly women, he says. I think he might have said all women. Maybe I'm being nice to making it mainly. With big butts are always falling off their horse and they can't figure out why and they got a million excuses on why they why they fall off their horse. Their horse bucked, their horse spooked, their horse doesn't listen, their horse doesn't yield to pressure, their horse doesn't listen to the bit. He gave me all these reasons that he's heard on why women with big butts fall off horses. He goes, don't they realize that <laughs> a butt makes them fall off and because they're out of shape and they're obviously don't don't have balance. That's why they're falling off. He goes, can you do a video on that? I think I've touched on that, trying to be as politically correct as I could. That when you're larger, either guys get weight in their belly, women get it in their hips and butt. When you're larger, it lowers your center of gravity. It makes it easier. It's harder. You have more weight to control. Your legs have to be stronger. Your knees have to be stronger. Your ankles have to be stronger. You have to have better balance. That's why I always say, if you learn to ride as a kid, when most of us are skinny and we can eat all day and we, we don't gain weight, if you learn all that balance and skill of balancing and you continue it to adulthood, you can be a big rider and be okay. But if you're like most women, they get back into horses, they're 40, 50, they put on weight, they're not as young, they're not as healthy, they're not as strong, they're not as viral, so they're, they're not as, you know, just, they just don't have the energy and the ability, they're not doing as much. We slow down as we get older, that's normal. Our muscles don't grow as quick, our bones get weaker. All that matters when you try to get on a horse and you fall off, you don't have the balance. It's much harder to learn to ride when you're overweight than it is to know how to ride and gain weight while you're riding. I think I've covered that before, if I didn't, I figured I'd give a shout out to Richard down under. Put some shrimp on the barbie for me. 